everybody. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. It is Saturday night. Actually, it's Sunday morning. It's really, really late at night, so I think it's like 1 a.m., and I've been meaning to this video, but I worked all day, like 12 hours, so I'm just now finding time. So basically, what I wanted to do was a quick little um, tutorial. I had show, shown this in my last video, and... Um, it's an accordion mini album made from chipboard and most of you guys will already well possibly know how to make this but um, I had a handful of people ask me to do a little tutorial on it and this book is not done but I had people ask me to do a tutorial on it so that's what I'm here to do and I'm really excited um, so this accordion mini album you could essentially use it um, in two ways really first one is well, I guess the first thing is you could leave it just like this with no string or ribbon to close it. Secondly, you could put it on display like on a mantle or on a table just like this and people could look at it. Or thirdly, you could... Oh dear. So I can't even remember the third one. It's like if I don't say it right when I'm thinking, it doesn't work. Of course, I don't remember. I'll come back to it. But... Oh, the third way is to tie ribbon or string around it, which is what I'm going to be doing with this book. So really, you only need basic supplies for this, which most of you, well, I keep saying most. I don't know what everybody has in their stash. I seem to have a little bit of way too much in everything. So this is really simple to make. All you need is a 12 by 12 sheet of chipboard. This chipboard is not very thick. It's just Recollections chipboard from Michaels. It's nothing special. So the size that I made this is five and a half by twelve, I believe. Yeah, five and a half by twelve. So what I did is I went ahead and cut this. Well, first I scored it. I believe the first thing I did was score it at five and a half. So you don't even have to score that. You could honestly just take this on your paper trimmer, which is what I did the first go round, and you could line it up right at five and a half, which it's gonna match up. Should match up pretty good. And so you're gonna need two of these. So you do one at five and a half as well as the second one at five and a half. And then you'll have a sliver left over, which you can save in your scraps, or not. And then where this scoreboard comes in handy is where we're going to score it so we can fold this. Since this is chipboard, and if you don't get a perfect fold, it gives it like a funky edge, I feel that it is really important to score this. So I'm going to be scoring this at 4 inches. So I find 4 inches on here, and I score it. And then I'll find 8 and you score. And you have three sections. And then you're going to take your other sheet and repeat. You're going to do at four and at eight. So really we're pretty much done with the scoreboard there. And I think that was like my first or second time using that scoreboard and I think I've had it for like two years. Totally not lying, which is ridiculous. So the way I made my book open, you can, you can have it open whichever way you want, but mine goes like this. So the end of the page is to the left, if that makes sense. If you guys can kind of see, like, the fold is on the right. So how we would do that is you're just, this is really nice again because it's already scored, and then you're going to go the opposite way. So you basically have, like that. I'm a little bit off camera here. And then one of these sides is going to get covered up because we're going to be adhering it, and that's how you make it that long accordion book. So, this will be folded this way, and this way. So therefore, there's our accordion book, and all you really do, well, all I did, you could use liquid adhesive, but I just took a tape runner, because it's the most convenient. And you know, you do want to make sure you get enough adhesive on there, because it is chipboard that you're dealing with, but you want to line it up. best as you can to that score mark. My stuff is never perfect. I don't know about y'all, but my stuff is never, ever perfect. And then all I did was I took my bone folder and I kind of went back over the edges to get 
a little bit of a crisper, cleaner edge. And there you go. You have your little accordion mini album. And then all you do is cover the pages with pictures and photos. And in mine, right now, it is just sitting like a little bouncy book. And I really wanted to add um, some twine around it. So what I went ahead and did is I went in my little scrap pile and I found this piece and kind of liked it against, uh, with this, my letters here. And so I just cut out a circle and then I used my crop -a dial and I punched a hole in it. I also did one out of the um, scrap chipboard that I'm using for my mini album, one of the little leftover pieces, and I just traced it. And all I'm going to do is, I should use liquid glue, but, oh dear, did this run out? No, it didn't should use liquid glue but seeing as I already have this out I'm just gonna use this cuz I'm kinda being lazy right now and then I just trace this on here and that's how I got the shapes pretty close in size and it's not perfect and I'm sure they sell these little things and all I'm gonna do is Take this twine, I cut some twine from um, one of my little spools, it's just gray and white, and it'll be wrapped around here, and all I'm going to do is run it around my book, and then do like a little tie, and then this will be on here. So I believe I'm going to take like a brad, and then I'll be able to wrap this around the circle and I could either do a bow or wrap it around enough where it will stay closed. And I think these would re be really fun for people who love um, like day books or journals because say you're going on vacation and you have to take a plane and you can't bring all this stuff on a plane. Well, you could pre-make one of these. It doesn't really take up a lot of room at all. You could pre-make one with um, paper that will match your kind of thing. And basically, you could just journal in it, and it could fit in your purse, because you just need to tie it down with this, and it'll stay shut. Put it in a Ziploc bag, and it's not really going to get messed up. So, I don't know. I might be making one of these for CHA. We'll see. I have so many ideas for CHA. I'm really excited. So, anyways, that's my little tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Talk to you later.